Vanessa Mensa with History Network News reporting live from the state capitol on a breaking news story regarding this year's election. Today at noon, Democrat Walter Mondale announced that he made his choice for his vice presidential candidate. Here at the state capitol just one hour ago, he declared that the candidate is Geraldine Ferrero. Geraldine will be the first female vice presidential candidate in history. Geraldine Farrell was an assistant attorney before entering the United States House of Representatives as a Democrat in 1978. Farrell is most known for sponsoring the Women's Economic Equity Act. According to our sources, over the last three weeks, Mondale has interviewed at least seven potential candidates, but Ms. Ferrero seemed like the best fit as his running mate. Mondale's advisors mentioned that Mr. Mondale's support from predominantly white blue-collar and ethnic areas would increase if Ferrero was his vice president. Mondale's aides claimed that he chose Geraldine a little before 6 p.m. on Wednesday evening. Walter Mondale said, The decision to choose a woman was a difficult one, but Jerry has excelled in everything she's tried, from law school at night to being a tough prosecutor to winning a difficult election to winning positions of leadership and respect in the Congress. Ms. Ferrero also shared her thoughts on the candidacy. She said, when Fritz Mondale asked me to be his running mate, he sent a powerful signal about the direction he wants to lead our country. American history is about doors being open, doors of opportunity for everyone, no matter who you are, as long as you're willing to earn it. This remarkable event will open doors for women in politics for years to come. Mondale and Ferrero are arranged to have their first United campaign appearance in Elmore, Minnesota, Mondale's hometown. This is Vanessa Mensa from History Network News reporting live from the state capitol.